Hi everyone, my name is April and this is Thrifted Transformations, the show where I go thrifting for old clothing and transform them into something new. So in my last video, I asked you which thrifted item you wanted to see me transform next and a lot of you voted for the blue velvet dress. I can't wait to share with you guys this transformation. I know some of you already liked how it fit and so do I, but there are some things that I want to change about it because it still feels a bit outdated to me. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Best Fiends, the puzzle adventure game where you can collect and level up your characters by defeating slugs. As you play the game, you'll win prizes such as gold and diamonds, and then you can use them to level up and unlock new characters. You can also compete against your friends by connecting to Facebook. That way you can see what level everyone's on. Right now I'm stuck on level 54 and it's getting really challenging so I've been there for a while now. Let me know down in the comments if you guys play Best Fiends and what level you guys are on and if you have passed me or not. This game is available for free and if you download it right now using the link below you can get $5 worth of gold and diamonds. Here's what the dress looks like before. I got it for $5 from Savers. And as I mentioned earlier, I already love the fit of the dress, but I think the style of the front and back neckline needs to be updated. I also don't like the slit in the back and would rather have it in the front. So I'm thinking why not just turn the dress around so that the slit is in the front. Since both front and back neckline are super high, it doesn't really matter that it's turned around because I'll be changing the shape of it anyways. However, the front of the dress did have darts, so now they're just in the back, but you won't really be able to tell after I transform it. For the front neckline, I'm changing it to a V shape by seam ripping down the center front a few inches. And I also seam ripped the slit higher so it's above my knees. I went ahead and removed the straps as well because I'll be replacing them with new straps later. Next, I seam ripped some of the underarm open so I can reshape the back and lower it by a few inches. Make sure to blend the new line back into the original underarm seam. For the front neckline, I already seam ripped down the center front. And now I'm drawing a line from the middle to the top corners to create my V shape. Don't forget to add your seam allowance before cutting away. Now we can go back and hem all the raw edges and I just used a regular straight stitch but lengthened the stitch to 3.0 to 3.2. Basically I just looked at the original stitch lines of the dress and adjusted my machine to match it. Before closing the top corners of the dress, I added in my new straps. I found this matching blue cord from Joann's and all I did was fold over the raw edges to cover it and then top stitched it down. To attach the back straps, I covered the ends with some black ribbon to keep it from unraveling and then I sewed them in place. Towards the end, I realized that it was way easier to sew with tissue paper underneath the velvet because the fabric will slide or get stuck and the stitches won't be even, so tissue paper helps glide it through. Lastly, I have to go back and hem the slit since I seam ripped it to raise it higher. With the leftover straps, I was inspired to create a matching choker, but since it wasn't long enough and wouldn't look nice if I sewed the two straps together, I ended up just creating a new one out of the scraps. To finish off the choker, I sewed two ribbons on each side to tie around the neck. Here is the final transformation.
just wanted to share with you guys another way you can style this velvet slip dress for a more casual look. I was originally going to wear this out because it's been chilly here in California, but since I made this matching choker, I wasn't so sure how it would look like together, so I just decided to go for the more fancier look. I love how versatile a slip dress can be. You can layer clothes underneath or on top for a more casual look, or you can just wear it as is out to a formal party. I hope you guys enjoy these transformations. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!